hi guys welcome back to another car chat um i have the camera on a different angle so that's why you're because the angle it was you wasn't seeing me anyway let's get right into it so by now you guys have all seen the infamous footage of that brawl that happened in montgomery alabama so we're going to talk about it my views my perspective my opinions um it may not um resonate with yours but this is how i feel in no way do i condone violence but in this case we're gonna give this one a pass and here's why these people and you guys know who i'm talking about have gotten too comfortable with putting their hands on lying on just doing whatever they f they want to do to us they've gotten so comfortable with it that they have no problem showing it out in the open in front of others like us they have no because they're like what, what are you gonna do all we need to do is call the police and it's over for you guys, right? So I love this for us. I really do. Because we need to be showing up for our brothers and sisters like this. As I said before, I don't condone violence. But this is how we need to be together. You see how we together in the in the in the cookout, we together in the in the you know in the club we this is this is it this is how we as a community as a people need to come together the one guy couldn't wait for the boat to get to the the landing dock he jumped off the boat and swam let's say he swam across the ocean <laughs> To help his his brother to help his that could have been his uncle that could have been his father that could have you know what i mean so i think i think that was a really um a profound moment for us um i want us to keep going not violently um i want us to keep going like that i want us to um and even in our in our area in our community in our on our block on our street you know i want us to start showing up for each other because that's what they did those people and found out dearly i mean and you know what's even funnier that not less than 24 hours later there was merchandise for sale I saw these cute chair earrings. I mean, how did they do it? I, let me say something, and, I, and I, I say it all the time. We are very creative. We are very, very, very creative. There's wall art, there's t-shirt, there's jewelry. Yeah, so not only did we come together as a, uh, a group, as a community, as like you touch, you know you touch one of us you touch all of us we're also making money off of it which is which is even which is even better you know get that bag i don't i don't have a problem with that get that bag um but yeah and all the guy was doing really was do listen if you don't know what i'm talking about i am in like 10 minutes or so in this but if you don't know what i'm talking about just google or maybe go on TikTok or twitter and montgomery alabama um boathouse brawl you're gonna see the full video um i don't know how to insert videos and stuff yet once i do we'll you know we'll do that but um the guy was just doing his job and they with their white privilege thought that the rules don't apply to them and they got their ass handed to them is what they did they, they got their ass handed to them yep 
let me know what you guys think about it have you seen it um what are your thoughts on it uh, again professing this by saying we do not condone violence over here this is not a violent we don't do that over here but that's what some people understand because you talk nicely because you know when you have this air of arrogance and privilege it's like ain't nothing coming out of my mouth going to enter your ears because you don't want to hear it i am not qualified to talk to you but i'm qualified to give you an ass whooping and it's ex exactly what they got now there were some women there who also got a beating because they were putting hands on the guy too so they deserve to get what they get and they are the other ones who's going to um we're gonna see them crying because you know they they were hit you know they were abused they were you know and those white tears are gonna start falling so be on the lookout for that but yeah i thought this was a very interesting um turn of events um as i said let's keep supporting each other not violently but let's keep supporting each other let's not watch you know somebody take advantage of of another one of i mean come on you know it has happened for far too long and you know it's time it's time for this to stop really it is so this topic is a little controversial but i i just you know it's what's going on on the internet it's it's viral um it's making headlines you know um a few people were arrested so i figured why not let's talk about it so that's the catch up for today lesson learned here fuck around and you will definitely find out all right guys Thanks for watching. See you in the next car chat. Bye guys.